All right, it's tropical depression on re now. It's sitting still up in the New England area. Look at this barely moving. It's basically stalled east at one miles an hour. Uh, one mile an hour that will continue to head off towards the east over the next couple of days, remaining a tropical depression or eventually a non tropical low, but still going to produce some rainfall up through New England as we go all the way through Tuesday and then it's moving out into parts of the Atlantic. Also out in the tropics, we are tracking some other areas. We're heading into the peak of the season here late August, early September. Things really, really ramp up. We've got two areas. This one far out in the Atlantic. This is not an immediate concern for anyone. This tropical wave looks like it's going to be heading towards the northwest up into the Atlantic, so not really concerned with that one right now, but closer to home. We are going to be watching the Northern Caribbean and the Southern Gulf later this week. Models do show that generally a broad area of low pressure is going to start to develop. We've got a few tropical waves that are going to interact with this broad low pressure, and uh, it's just that time of year where this can certainly spin up into something. There's nothing there right now. Notice where it's highlighted. There's barely any even clouds or storms in that region, but we're seeing a lot of model consistency that something is going to try to spin up down here as we go towards the end of the week. So we're talking maybe by Thursday, Friday and into the weekend. Going to have to keep an eye on that. Chances of development right now are pretty low, but I wouldn't be surprised if it does start to go up. Then the big question is on, well, if something does develop down here, where is it going to go? And it all has to do with your steering patterns. Right now, the trends have been, and this could certainly change being so far out, nothing out there, but the high pressure looks like it could build in and get a little bit stronger over the eastern U.S. as we go into the end of the week. If it's strong enough, it would sear anything down here to the northwest, perhaps from Texas to Mexico, but if it's a little weaker, anything that gets into the Northern Caribbean. If this high is weaker, it could try to slide up into uh, the northern part of the Gulf, which is something we're going to have to watch. It is, after all, late August. We're heading into early September pretty soon. Uh, you're going to have something out there spinning somewhere. So this is of no surprise, but you can see there we are now past August 20th, which statistically speaking, most major hurricanes form August 20th or after. So that's kind of our flip the switch moment when we get past August the 20th. Really, things do ramp up pretty fast. Notice the peak is the first couple of weeks and through the middle of September and then stays pretty active sometimes even into October. So we're going to be watching that closely through the rest of the week. It's just that time of year. You should be checking in daily to make sure nothing is popping up out in the tropics. You don't always have that five day uh, period to really prepare for something. So you got to keep an eye on it each and every day. Right now, nothing in our forecast tropical. It's just going to be very hot today with our heat advisory tomorrow. Still hot and humid with a few more storms and then better chances of rain by Thursday and that knocks our temperatures back down to 90 April.